Have you ever bought a puppy? Although you may have been told otherwise, it is likely to come from a place like this. We saw 93 dogs in this kennel. They were so filthy that it was hard to tell their breed. There were Teckel, Leyland Terrier, Yorkshire, Fox Terrier, West Highland and Kern Terriers. Like any other kind of farm, dog farms have a single goal, to make money. To do so, they have to produce as many puppies as possible at the lowest expense. This means keeping water, cleaning and veterinary cures to the minimum. At a very young age, mothers are forced to breed up to two times a year. Shortly after giving birth, they are separated from their puppies. This dog farm sells each puppy for 900 euros. They claim to breed the puppies in a family environment, in the best possible conditions and allowing mothers to be seen by the customer. What they do not tell us is the living conditions of those mums. They are in case for life sometimes inside closed places, always in the dark. They sleep on the dirty and cold floor. They are never let out of their cages to play, sniff, enjoy the sunlight or roll in the grass. These activities are paramount in order for them to be mentally balanced. Besides having to live in these conditions, these dogs had mange. Breeding from such an early age and so many times crushes their bodies. At the age of five, they lack the strength to keep on breeding and thus they become useless to the breeder. In the fireplace of this dog farm, we found the corpses of four mothers. Although charred, we could tell that the skull of one of them was fractured in two parts. We assume she was clapped to death. These females are really young, but they can no longer be sold as puppies. They will soon become the next generation of mothers. They need to run, caper and play. Instead, they live in a tiny enclosure, filthy and teeming with excrements and urine. And the breeder throws them the food onto the floor. Most of the mothers weren't even microchipped. The breeder gives them water which is completely green. And even though this dog has cancer, mange and is lame, it is not being treated by a vet. Due to the lack of state control, the farmer knows he can do as he pleases. This mother has a non-treated injury. Abnormal repetitive behaviors are also common. Being enclosed for such a long time makes them lose their mind and they keep on spinning in circles. Here you can see a dog eating her own feces. The existence of farms, including dog farms, is a consequence of assuming that animals are here to serve us. But the same as humans, animals feel pain, fear, sorrow and joy. Dogs and all the animals deserve being respected and we cannot continue treating them as commodities. Let's respect the right to life, happiness and freedom.